faces its biggest game of the season tonight for the second time in a week. Amid news that will not sell up, these are the kinds of high-stakes games the owners must seek to ensure continue to be played at Anfield for a long time to come. Jurgen simply had to beat Newcastle United to keep hopes of a top-four finish alive, and his side delivered. It was a victory worth more than just three points, although those were precious, it injected fresh impetus into the season, building on the fledgling momentum from the Merseyside Derby. Next up, it's Real Madrid in the Champions League, in a re-run of last year's final. This time, however, we'll have Anfield on its side, and will be quietly confident of pulling off a big result that would set them on the path back to Istanbul. Ibrahima Konate has already pointed out biggest challenge versus Real Madrid team versus Real Madrid predicted as Darwin and Joe Gomez in and Roberto Firmino out as for the ownership situation, John Henry has, but has reaffirmed that is on the lookout for investors. We asked US-based fan Morgan O'Sullivan a few questions about the Reds. Real Madrid tonight, are you hopeful of a positive result? They say that a week is a long time in politics. In the world of football and the world of football club, we may have political turmoil behind the scenes, not least when it comes to the sale soap opera, but when it comes to football, it has flown by. From the depths of despair, the team has given us that most wonderful gift, the gift of hope. After winning against a rejuvenated Everton, a win away to Newcastle was a result to fill us with hope that we may finally be kicking into gear. Were there moments of concern? There were a few, however, the front three as an attacking unit finally appear to be clicking. The midfield with an arrested Jordan Henderson looks like we are beginning to find our pressing legs once again. Our defense should get stronger once settles back into a routine. So am I hopeful of getting a result tonight? I am in a significantly better frame of mind than two weeks ago. The power of Anfield, and a goal-hungry front line may bring us one of those famous European nights. Two areas keep my feet on the ground and bring concern. Darwin going off injured may ultimately have served only to keep Real Madrid guessing, but even after being pictured in training, there's still a chance it could limit his involvement. Hopefully it is the former. The other area of concern is our defending from corner kicks. The bizarre thing is that we have a familiar defense the last number of weeks, yet every time a cross comes in, an element of fear and panic creeps in. I am hoping this will be eradicated beginning tonight, but it certainly has me worried. Cody Gokpo has scored 2 in 2. How excited about his form are you? Two goals in two games is terrific for Gapko. What is more important is the link-up play with Mohamed Salah and has really kicked into gear. Before the derby, the understanding between the three just was not there. But the last two games have brought great promise for the remainder of the season. With Diogo Hoda back and Luis Diaz to come, the front line will soon be one to fear once again. Has properly turned a corner in the last two games? Are you confident that this is the new level and it can be maintained? I am hopeful that we have finally turned a corner. However, we have had so many false dawns this season already. A win tonight will be another further boost. A convincing win tonight could propel us onto a run that would secure Champions League qualification through the and may set us firmly on the road to Istanbul. Can this level be maintained? The legs are not what they used to be.
The heart has truly bounced back in the last week. The question will be whether this heart and passion can survive the remainder of the season. When the pressure kicked in back in 2020-21, we put a run together that no one envisaged to secure Champions League qualification. We bounced from there to the verge of greatness. Could a similar run happen? Does this team have one last battle within it? It is when people write us off that we are at our most dangerous. Could we have taken the first two steps in another memorable season? What hopes do you have that can qualify for the Champions League next season now, regardless of what happens against Real Madrid? From looking like exiting the Champions League with barely a murmur a few weeks back, we are now full of hopes and dreams once again. We are now looking at the league table with hope, rather than fear. The race is back on. Maybe, just maybe, a week is a long time in football. Anything else to mention? The last number of months have been dictated by whether the club will be sold, or whether we'll seek investment. The announcement by John Henry yesterday that he is not looking for a full sale will not really change much for our current predicament. Every season we set out in the hopes of adding new players. Realistically, we have had to trust to wheel and deal to bring new players in. This year was a prime example, there was a clear need for a new midfielder, but the manager needed to hold the funds for the prospect of signing. The latest rumors are that we will sign and Bellingham may need to sell before he can buy. The team has aged. The manager has sought to evolve the team, with our forward line significantly changing over the last year. Will he be able to upgrade the midfield and defense to the desired outcome? A large-scale investment similar to the year we signed Van Dyke, Allison, and Fabinho is realistically needed. If we need to sell before we can buy, we may see a number of casualties this summer. Do we need investment? Yes. John Henry may have declared we are not for sale, but at the end of the day he is a businessman. If the right offer came along, we could still end up being sold by. After all, as a businessman, despite his protests, everyone has a price. Handed huge boost ahead of Real Madrid as confirms major decision Qatari interest in takeover, stifled, as Jurgen pursues long-term transfer plan.